Hey guys, Nifra here. Guess what? I got a new mic. About time. And Summit went horrid. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> this is the PTR, obviously. So it's been a while since I haven't done any add-on guides, so here we go. In this video, I'll be covering everything you need to know about Recount. No, don't be like, Psh, who the hell doesn't know about Recount? There isn't much to it. Yeah, there's actually a lot of ways you can customize it. Trust me, you'll be like, I don't even. I'll give a brief explanation of what it does, but the main purpose for this guide is to show you how, how to make it prettier. Why? Because... Who the hell wants to see that old red flashy bar in default settings anyway? Let's jump right in. So as probably most of you already know, Recount is one of the most popular add-ons out there, and it's simply a damage meter. You can get this from wow.curse.com. Uh, for some reason, the add-on is not, not listed on wowinterface.com. The original author is Cryak, but is currently being updated and maintained by Elzia, so credits to them. Not only can you track your DPS and damage, but it also keeps track of friendly fire, damage taken, healing done, absorbs, healing taken, overhealing, deaths, dot up time, hot up time, activity, which shows the top 3 targets you dealt damage to, dispels, dispelled, interrupts, resers, CC breakers, mana gained, energy gain, rage gained, and runic power gain. Yeah, quite the add on eh? While you can get a lot of information from this, it's never gonna be as detailed and exact as keeping logs like for um, WoW web stats and world of logs. Also, keep in mind recount is not always 100% accurate, but enough to give you a good idea overall. And yeah, I'm not going to get into the debate of, oh my god, logs suck, they don't mean shit, they're just EP enhancers, blah blah blah. Yeah. Recount has two configuration panels. First one is accessed by going to your interface add-on settings, where you can set up a few core options, like how many fights you want to keep track of. Default is 5, so anything higher could make WoW run a bit slower. The second panel, you can access it by either pressing GUI from the add-on settings, actually, no, you press config, um, or by typing slash recount config. In this menu, there are four tabs, Data, Window, Appearance, and Color. The Data tab is a bit advanced and usually fine set as default. You can set various filters, like for example, clicking off Ungroup in the Show column will make Recount not track your DPS while in solo. While you're soloing, I mean. On the bottom left corner, you can also choose to merge pets with owners and merge absorbs with heals, mostly directed at this priest, of course. It's usually good to keep those on, but it's optional. The middle section here lets you configure where you want recount to show and track data. Party instances, raid instances, the list goes on. Data deletion. If you have confirmation check, every time you enter a new instance and such, it will ask you if you want to delete your current data, if any. Leaving it unchecked will bypass the com confirmation window and wipe it automatically. Now for the window tab. It's all up to you which buttons you want to show on top of the recount window. There's report, which lets you report to any ch chat channel and the number of ranks you want to show. Config, basically a shortcut to the config panel without having to type in command. File, lets you view previous fight logs. Reset, self-explanatory. Previous slash next, which lets you navigate between different logs like DPS and healing. And close. Again, a shortcut button to close the window without having to type in the command slash recount toggle. You can also set the row height, row spacing, it's pretty straightforward. You can also make it show the scroll bar. This one is also optional because you can still scroll up and down the window anyway without the bar showing. I'd like to put emphasis on the next feature as well, auto hide on combat. If you feel recount is a distraction while you're fighting a boss, or pay too much attention to it while you should be paying attention to Omen, well, this option is your friend. Here's a pro tip. 
To save VOI space, have free count auto hide on combat, and omen only show in combat, so you can have both windows on top of each other. So, one will show one in combat, then switch off to the other, therefore saving you a lot of room and makes it easier to keep your UI minimalistic. What else is there? Window scaling, and there's also a lock and unlock button to move the window where, where you desire. The last section on the right, beware, total FPS slash memory hog, you can choose to have real time graphs for DPS, HPS, latency, FPS, bandwidth, etc. Useful? It can be when used correctly and efficiently, but as a way to see your DPS during a boss, not really. Actually, you should go see my recount UI video. It was obviously meant as a joke, but you'll see what I mean. Here's the link, and I'll also add the link in the info box. Now for the appearance tab, you can choose to track the rank number, DPS beside total damage, and percentage. And for the number format, you can have it show standard, commas, or short. You can also swap text and bar color. Mm, nah. Font, bar textures. I highly recommend getting the add on shared media for extra fonts and textures. We are almost done. Color tab. Here you can set the color and opacity for the main window. Changing the colors for other windows will change the config panel. You can also customize the colors for the bar text, total bar, and pretty much each classes, so if you don't like the red for the DKs, you can like put it pink or whatever you want. I've actually seen a lot of UIs with a specific color code to match the UI, which makes it look really put together. I think that pretty much sums it up. I love how easy it is to just install and use out of the, out of the box, but also easier than we'd think to tweak and customize. So good luck and have a good one. Here are some other guides and I'll let you in on a secret. Next guide is going to be Grid, so make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, and stay tuned.